you are the author of your life. You decide what happens. You decide whether or not if you'll learn from the situation or if you'll have the universe continue to give you the same lesson over and over and over and over and over and over and over. And the reason you're getting the same lesson is because you never learned from it in the first place. Hold on. You said Mr. Ice-D Fresh made this beat? What's up, y'all boy? This your girl, Holly. You already know what it is. We back here with Hash It with Holly. This is the second podcast, and I just want to go ahead and apologize, because what I wanted to do was at least do like a podcast at least once a week. And I'm almost wanting to get as consistent as doing one once a day. But I just kind of, you know, I'm I'm trying to get my schedule right. You know what I'm saying? So y'all just bear with me. You know what I'm saying? But of course, I will always be coming with that fire. Of course, anytime something comes to me, I will absolutely go straight ahead and post it on my Facebook page. So if you have not yet, go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel, Holly Swoosh on YouTube. And go follow me on Facebook. It's Holly Swoosh on Facebook as well. Also, if you have an Instagram page, go ahead and follow me on my Instagram page as well. It's underscore I am not a comedian. All spelled correctly. All one word. No spaces in between that. Um, um, if you actually look in the link in my bio, um, there's it, it shows that I'm the owner of and it says translations merch page. If you click on there, you'll see some of my merch. As of right now, it just has a lot of the gear from my translations show um, where I'm translating words and phrases that we use heavily in the Charleston, South Carolina area. That's where I'm from, my hometown. So it's really really hometown thing you know what i'm saying but i i got that on there but i also am going to be kind of switching things up a little bit we're switching gears because i'm going to be adding more merch that's not translations related so if you go ahead and go ahead and follow that page right there you know what i'm saying then that's when you will see the new stuff popping out so i just wanted to go ahead and give that little quick introduction because i want to go ahead and dive in i really don't want this to be a super duper long um, podcast. I just wanted to, you know, just shout some things out and just kind of really highlight some of the posts that I have been putting up on Facebook lately because some people may see it, some people may want me to explain it a little bit more. If they don't, I do, you know. Um, so another thing before I get started, um, I had an interview. It was the best interview I've ever had from the creators of She Thoro, um, Ms. Velvet. She is a beautiful soul and she was a great interviewer. I had a great time being interviewed by her it's so much that they actually put an article on their blog. So if you go on my YouTube, I'm sorry, on my Facebook page, I also have that up as well. So go, go down there and take a look at the article. It's a very beautiful article. It honestly brought me to tears because I just could not believe that somebody was just thinking so highly of me and speaking so highly of me and re- was really interested in my life. It was really just, um, it, it was kind of breathtaking to be honest. Um, but yes, I said all of that to say this, the first thing I really wanted to, um, elaborate on was the status that I put up and I, um, I'll read it out to you. It says divine rising y'all boy. I always say divine rising instead of good morning because there's nothing good about morning the rising of the sun so i always hit everybody with the divine rising so here it says it says divine rising y'all boy amen except what god allows everything you go through has a purpose and meaning life is just like school and you must be the one to learn from the lesson and when you do you will evolve graduate move on to the next level Erica Badu said, peace and blessings manifest with every lesson learned. Every single experience, whether you perceive it to be good or bad, is a lesson. It's an opportunity for you to learn. So remember, there is a God in you too. Also, just remember to learn from your lessons and evolve. I love you. I love ending my... I love ending my statuses with I love you because I want you to know that you are loved. You know what I'm saying? Like it's I, honestly, I really feel like it's the, it's the God in me that's speaking to you, and God is love. So if I'm love, if I'm if I am God, if God is in me, then I'm telling you like I love you. God loves you. You know. So of course, I always love ending it with that. But I I wanted to of course explain that. But it's very true that we go through things in life and we perceive it to be good. If I get a job that I want, I perceive it to be good. Or if I don't get the job, I perceive that to be bad. But the thing about it is when things happen to us that we perceive to either be good or bad, we still need to take a step back and find out why this is happening. Like, what is this teaching me? 
What is this bringing me? If I didn't get the job, why didn't I get the job? Is there something better for me? Am I not equipped for the job right now? Um, is there is there a, a job that's better for me um, that's out there that I'm not applying myself enough to be able to get? Like, what is it? It, it? it really makes you think so many things when you don't get the things that you want or when you say that this is a bad thing that's happening to me right now. It's really all about finding out what the lesson is in that situation like for instance like if 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 i'm dealing with someone and we're everything is good every you know we hitting it off great and for some reason they just go ghost i don't hear from them i always wonder like well why what is this teaching me really not so much like why is this happening to me but what is this teaching me what what is what is their absence teaching me why is their absence something that's bothering me or that i need to learn from you know it's it's so many things that you can really apply this particular lesson to but you have to be the one to sit back and kind of analyze the situation and evaluate the situation as well and then if there's any adjustments or changes that need to be made go ahead and make those adjustments and make those changes. If you know that you give yourself away way too early, that's a change that you need to make. There's a reason that that person ghosted you. There's a reason that that relationship didn't work out because there's still some things that you need to work on yourself before you get with someone that you may honestly mess up a potentially great relationship with. It's okay. You just have to learn from these things. And of course it's going to hurt. Of course it's not going to feel great because you're growing, you're evolving. And growing and evolving is going to be a little uncomfortable at times. Think about a caterpillar in the cocoon. Like, this caterpillar is in this cocoon for so long, evolving. Evolving the whole time. They're, they're having that cocoon, that, that whole cocoon, uh, that, uh, that whole cocoon uh, period of time. I guess I could say for lack of better words. They're evolving and growing and turning into something so beautiful. So once this time for them to get out of that cocoon phase, there's this big, beautiful butterfly that comes behind that. And it's so amazing. It's like, how did this slimy caterpillar turn into this beautiful butterfly? Because the caterpillar took time to sit in that cocoon period to learn, to evolve. And to turn into this big, beautiful butterfly. And I feel like I've had and am still having cocoon periods of times. Because there's so many lessons for me to learn. There's so many lessons for me to learn. There's so many opportunities for me to grow and evolve. The cocoon phase doesn't have to be forever. It doesn't have to be years and years and years. It doesn't have to be like that. It could honestly be something that you learn in a day. Something that happens to you within a couple of minutes. You are the author of your life you decide what happens you decide whether or not if you'll learn from the situation or if you'll have the universe continue to give you the same lesson over and 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 the reason you're getting the same lesson is because you never learned from it in the first place you have to take the time to learn from everything that happens to you take everything as in a lesson when people say oh man i took an l Well, that's a good thing because you should be looking at it as, oh man, I took a lesson. Now, did you learn from the lesson? That's up to you. I don't know. You'll you'll know whether or not if you learn from the lesson because if you get the same exact test again, that means you didn't learn the last time. And if it happens again, that means you never learned. That means these same things will continue to happen to you until you learn. These same lessons are being given to you because the universe wants you to learn from this. God wants you to learn from this. And I I I want to go ahead and clear that up. When I when I use the universe, I'm I'm talking about God, the all, our ancestors. Um like it's to me God is like a, a collection of beautiful things, a, a collection of a beautiful spiritual powerful omnipotent being. You know, I it's not not a person, but it's I really feel like it's a collective. I feel like it's a um it's a collective of the great great spirits good energy um literally my ancestors um the deities who um have gone on before me you know um that's that's what i mean and and i'll do a whole separate podcast on that and i may actually need to bring somebody in so i don't sound like i'm crazy so i don't sound like i'm the crazy one because every time somebody hears the universe they get a little turned off but i wanted to kind of explain that honestly to me god is so much bigger than religion you know but like i said 
um, organized religion, let me say that, but that's a whole nother podcast in itself. But I wanted to touch on these statuses that I put up. So I don't want to get too sidetracked because I know I talk a, a mile a minute and I will continue to go on and on and on and on and on. And I don't have time for all of that. But but yeah, I wanted everybody to know that the L's that you take are lessons. So don't look at them as a bad thing. They're, they're not bad at all, at all. Um, Another thing, another status that I put up, I said, I don't know who needs to hear this, but stop making yourself readily available for people who do, who refuse to do the same for you. Just stop that. Thank me later. I love you. Fresh made this beat. Oh boy. So here's this this is this is big for me personally and and it's because I am that one that will continue to make myself readily available for people who literally refuse to do the same for me. I will know and it's not any it's not me assuming that they're too busy. I know they're not too busy. I've actually seen it happen right before my eyes. Someone will tell me they're too busy, but literally not busy enough to pick up the phone and hit me up because that's what they said. They're not keeping their word. And honestly, for me, I would still, even after they gave me their their ass to kiss, I would still be making myself readily available to them because I don't want to be looked at as a bad person. No matter what, I still want people to know that I'm still reliable. I'm loyal. But no no baby no everybody does not deserve that loyalty if they can't give it to you they don't deserve it maybe they not they they may not know that and if that's the case maybe a conversation needs to be had but it really depends on the importance of the relationship and if you feel like this friendship this relationship this 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 whatever this is if it's very important to you you will make sure that you know if i'm not available to you or if, you will make sure like if that per- if you're not available to that person you'll make sure that they know why there's a reason why and you'll be able to explain to them why because you care about that relationship you care about that person's feelings you care about what they think about you know what I'm saying? It's not about like how they feel about you or anything, but you care about how you do care about how they feel in general. You don't want them to go frantic and go a little crazy just worrying about you trying to figure out why or why you didn't message them. Maybe it's maybe their anxiety is probably like having their mind going all kind of crazy like, "Well, I don't know why this person isn't texting me. I don't know why this person isn't calling me back. What's what's going on?" Stuff like that. I I understand that. I get it. Because if I'm doing good for you and to you, I just couldn't understand or couldn't fathom why you would just not respond to me or not hit me up like you said you would. I just wouldn't understand that. Especially if you cared about me, you would hit me up and let me know because I would do the same for you. But that's my fault because in some situations, you can't expect everybody to do that for you. That's why you have to know who your friends are. You have to know what type of relationships you're getting into, what type of friendships you're committing yourself to. If you meet a new friend and you guys are calling each other friends, you guys have got to have a time and a period where you guys set your boundaries. You've got to let each other know like, hey, I love you. You're my best friend. You're a really good friend to me. But and I'm always going to try to do my best to make myself available to you. However, I don't like to be called multiple times. If I don't answer the phone one time, I must be going through something and I will get back to you and I'll explain everything to you when the time is right. But right now, I'm just not in a mental state to answer a call. Now, the only thing that I, me personally, the only thing I ask is just explain to me what's going on. I had someone literally block me because I was happy. (laughs) Seriously, like someone broke it off with me 
and blocked me. And I was kind of flabbergasted. I'm like, wait, am I blocked? Like, I can't see if I'm blocked from this page. So I went to another one of my pages and I'm like, whoa, hold on now. Am I blocked for real? So I literally called the person and I'm like, hey, did you block me? And she's like, yeah, I blocked you. I was like, well, why? She was like, well, I just don't want to see you you happy on my timeline. It's kind of like a slap in the face. And I'm just so shocked. Like, how uh, how is me being happy a slap in your face and you broke it off of me? I, I don't understand that. I never understood that. And even to this day, I have not spoken to that girl again, ever. And it's not that I didn't want to. Um, I just, I was just so shocked. Like, how are you, how are you mad that I'm happy? Like, what am I supposed to do? You said you didn't want to be with me anymore. It's okay. I, you know, thank God, thank God you blew it. Thank God I dodged a bullet. I, I mean, I don't understand how that's, that's my problem that you're upset that I'm angry. I mean, or that I'm happy. I'm sorry. <laughs> like, I, I just don't get that. But don't, don't worry about it. Me, that's what I have to tell myself. I'm not going to worry about it because it doesn't matter. It's none of my business right now. Maybe I'll find out in the future, but as of right now, it's something that I don't need to worry about. And that's okay. I'm the type of person that's, I always need to know what's going on, why it's happening, what's going on. I'm always questioning something because I don't understand why shit happens the way it does. Like for real, it's, it's weird. It's so weird. But I know that sometimes I have to calm down because if I don't know why right then and there, I don't need to know why right then and there. There's a reason. And I won't go searching for the answer because that's something that's not important to me right now. You know what I'm saying? It's it's okay. You just have to relax and just accept what God allows to happen to you because there's a lesson and there's a reason for that. I got one more status that I had put up that I just kind of wanted to explain just a little bit, just a little bit. And I'm kind of watching my time because I don't want to go too far. I don't want to go too heavy because, you know, I can run out seriously. But the last status that I'm going to talk about, it says, okay, so I don't know who needs to hear this, but everything doesn't deserve a response. You said what you said, and so did they, along with doing what they did. Sis, bro, everything doesn't need a response. Go on about your business drink your water, go outside and get that vitamin D, take pictures of you smiling in the sun, walk outside in the grass with no shoes or socks on, just ground yourself. But remember, everything does not deserve your energy or response. Thank me later. I love you. Oh my goodness. This is big. This is big. You don't have to respond to everybody. Listen, I'm from Charleston, South Carolina, and we are a type of people that don't like nobody playing with us. I promise you, if you walk up to a Charleston girl and you're trying to, you know, try her, you're trying to come for her, she'll tell you, listen, hey, don't even much play with me, dog. Don't even much first much you much play with me. Don't even play with me. Listen, don't play with me. You will hear so many people in Charleston say that or in general say that. I am the type of person I do not like to be played with. Don't play with my time because I am so giving with my time and my energy and my space. I can be very giving, but now I've known now to be more selective, of course. But I don't have to respond to every bad thing that someone says to me. I remember... Of course, this is kind of a little bit of promo, but um, if you guys want to go ahead and purchase my bum t-shirts, it's, um, it spells out bum, but it's scratched out and it says black underestimated mastermind. I remember this girl called me a bum. Me and this girl was talking like, seriously, she had confided in me. This was a good, like we, to my knowledge, we were pretty good friends and stuff like that, you know, to, to what I thought, you know, but I, I guess I said something that struck a nerve in her and the truth came out. She went in on me. I mean, text after text after text. I mean, them texts was rolling in. I'm like, ooh, ooh, I struck a nerve. Ooh, that girl mad. Oh, she big mad. Oh, she huge, gigantic, enormous mad. My dog is upset. I mean, you know how when you texting, back, when you texting real fast and the messages come in, ding, ding. Ding, ding. And it's like, dang, how you text back that fast? You ain't never text me back that fast in our whole time of knowing each other, bruh. Man, that girl dogged the fuck out me, okay? Listen, that girl dogged me. I mean, was going in. You a bum. I knew you was a bum when I was talking to you. You posting pictures of you paying for gas with change and stuff. I knew you was a bum, this, that, and the third. And I'm like, yo, son, you are wilding right now, bruh. Like, 
First of all, I posted that picture. Yeah, I did. I, shit, ain't no shame in my game. You damn right. That's all the cash I had on me at the time. I don't know where the hell my cars was. Shit, I was probably broke at the time. I, I don't remember. More than likely, I was probably broke, to be honest. <laughs> but it ain't nothing to me to just, hey, yo, bro, hey, hey, I'm low on funds right now. Hey, let me hold $20 till I, you know, cap, you know, till I sell me another shirt or something like, yo, son, I could have easily gotten that money from anybody, but I was like, damn, I'm fucked up in this situation right now. This is crazy. But you know what? I'm gonna make a joke out of it because that's the type of person I am. I'm a comedian. So stuff like this doesn't hurt my feelings. It's funny. So I put the picture up. The girl called me a bum, son. Now, what I originally wanted to do was I wanted to blast her. You know what I'm saying? I mean, like, yo, I got nigga. Yo, son, you want to embarrass somebody? You want to try to embarrass me by calling me a bum and talking trash to me to your friend? You want me to embarrass you, son? That's what you want me to do? You want me to go in on you? But you know what I did? I ain't said nothing. I ain't said nothing. I blast her. No, still to this day, nobody knows who she is. Unless she comes out and verbally says anything to me, she'll never know who I'm talking about. Like, no, people never know who I'm talking about. She know who I'm talking about. Some, Maybe some of the people closest to me may know what I'm talking about. But she know what's up. But the, here's the thing. I didn't make a public response to her. It wasn't just to her. Like, that bum t-shirt, that wasn't just for her. It, it was inspired by her words. But it wasn't just for her. That go for any hater. That go for anybody that got something ill or negative to say about me. I'm a black underestimated mastermind. Like, people underestimate me for so many different reasons. Yeah, I'm black, but I'm a mastermind. I'm trying to tell you, like, the things that come to my head. The ideas that have not even be that, that haven't even been brought to fruition just yet. The stuff that the ideas and goals and dreams that I'm still impregnated with right now. They haven't even been birthed yet. The world ain't even seen it yet. I'm going to just be quiet. I'm going to just be cool. Because everything does not deserve a response. She didn't deserve my energy. No negative person deserved my good energy. I got good energy. I got godly energy. People come to me and be like, yo, yes, listen, you a whole vibe. Listen, I love your energy. Yo, you think I got time to be worrying about somebody with some negative energy? You mad at me, so you recruiting other people to be mad at me too? You think I got time for that? I don't. I don't. I need to put my energy into something that's going to create some goodness and some greatness in the world. Not stirring up in some mess. That's, that's, tr- man, listen, back now, the old me probably would have been doing some stuff like that. But I'm at a place where I'm just trying to be at peace, man. I don't have to respond to everything. You call me a stupid bitch? Cool. Hey, that's how you feel, man. Hey, I'm, hey, I'm sorry you feel like sorry you feel like that, but that ain't, that ain't me. But hey, do your thing. That, that's what you think. All right, bet. You want to call me a bum? That's cool. That's cool. That's all right. I ain't gonna say nothing about it for a couple of months. I'm gonna throw it on some t-shirts and make some money from it. But you know, it's it's okay. It's all right. That's how you feel. That's cool. You know, that's cool. You think I'm a bum? You know, we 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 don't rock. We was cool. You confided in me. I confided in you. You know, but out of all of that, you wanna call me a bum? That's cool. That's cool. That's all right. People going to betray you. They going to do you wrong. They going to talk about you. People going to do you bad, man. Going to hurt your feelings. It's, and then sometimes it might be some of the people that's closest to you. That's all right. Everything don't deserve a response. Sometimes you literally have to walk away because you responding to it negatively ain't going to do nothing but put that negative energy out in the atmosphere. And you got to remember that whatever you put out is what you're going to get back no matter what. Whether you think somebody wronged you or not, you got to remember that. That's universal law. That's that's just that on that. That's just period. It's okay. It's okay. Life is going to really hand you some curveballs, man. And it's going to hurt. You ain't always going to feel positive all the time. I don't wake up positive and happy-go-lucky every single morning. Some mornings I'm sad. Some mornings I'm hurting. Some mornings I'm still uncomfortable and still hurting from the growth that I experienced the day before or three weeks ago. It's okay. It's okay. I promise you it's okay. I wouldn't tell you that if it was a lie. It is okay. Life is going to be what life is. Life is all about lessons. And whether or not if you're going to learn from those lessons is your business. That's your responsibility and nobody else's. So when you knew better, you should have do better. If you know better, you will do better. Period. I don't want to keep y'all... 
I don't want to keep talking y'all head up. All I'm going to say is just trust the process of life. Just keep on striving. Stay down till it's your time to come up. You got to trust the process. Life is all about lessons and you're going to learn from them if you decide to do that. I totally went over my time. It's okay, though, because I really wanted you guys to know um, that, you know, it's okay. You know, it, it really is okay. Everything that Everything that happens to you in life is not a loss. It's a lesson. It's a lesson and it's up to you to decide whether or not if you're going to learn from that and move on. And then not only that, but are you going to teach others these lessons? You don't learn these lessons for no reason. People don't go to to college and become teachers just to not spread the knowledge that they learned. What's the point in that? (laughs) What's the what's the point in doing that? Now, you got to spread this information with people, man. Every time I learn something, I, I do my best to spread it with the people that I love. The people that are closest to me, the people who will lend their listening ears. It's very important to 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 spread knowledge. It's very important to spread knowledge. Um, I am going to end this. You know, I really do appreciate you for listening. Thank you so much. I love you. I want you to know if nobody has told you today, you are beautiful. You matter. I'm so glad that you are still here with us. And I love you. Um, stay tuned for the next episode of hash it out with holly you already know it's the podcast here now i know i did say that i would be filming the podcast however i did not film this one here i do have the very first one filmed i'm having some issues and i'm trying to figure out how i can actually get this thing uploaded um the best way possible i i'm 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 trying to tell you i'm having some weird things going on with my mac right now and i don't know what's going on with space and stuff and why i won't transfer certain files and it won't upload certain things or if it is uploading it's uploading slow and then it's like yo it's it's crazy but just know that i do have the voice podcast right here we we doing all of that right now so i just wanted to thank all of you again for listening i love you so much peace and blessings to you. Hey, what's your name? Hey, hey, hey. Hold on. You said Mr. Steve Fresh made this beat?